Hi there, it's me, Hema, and welcome back to another travel video! This is gonna be a part 2 of the Explore Melbourne with me video where I'm gonna share with you more places to visit in Melbourne. In this video, I'm gonna focus on locations that are out of metropolitan Melbourne. So basically out of Melbourne city area. Nearly all of the places that I'm mentioning in this video require access to a car. But don't worry, if you don't have a car, there are still tons of cool places to visit in the city itself. You can go and check out my Explore Melbourne part 1 video where I share with you some of my favorite places to visit and eat at in and around the city that are easily accessible by public transport. I'll link the video somewhere up here or in the description box below. If you have the time and the transportation, I highly recommend taking a road trip to some of the spots that I'm going to mention in this video. Enough of me talking, let's get straight into the video. First on the list is Brighton Beach. This beach hosts an extremely famous tourist spot, the Brighton Bath Boxes. It's a 25 minute drive from the city centre, but you can also get here by train which takes around 40 minutes. This is probably the only location I'm mentioning in this video that is accessible by public transport. Not a lot of people, it's the weekday, so not a lot of crowds. And the weather is so good today, it's been raining so much the past few days and finally the sun showed up and I was like, time to hit the beach. If you love chocolates like me, you can go and check out the Yarra Valley Chocolatier. It's a family-owned business operating since 2012 using sustainable chocolate. They have a wide range of chocolates from sweet to bitter, so there's something for everyone. For all the wine lovers out there, I highly recommend taking a trip to the wineries in regional Victoria. Both Yarra Valley and Mornington have tons of vineyards and cellar doors where you can go for wine tastings. At Yarra Valley, I highly recommend going to Debotelli. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you'll see the spelling on the screen. Their tasting menu starts at $10 for 8 samples of your choice. I forgot to take more footage inside and off the menu, but they had a wide selection of whites, reds, and sweet wines. The best part about this place is that you get to try the eight wines of your choice. Another popular winery to check out in this area is the Oak Ridge Wine. Their tasting menu is for $10 for three whites and three reds. Uh, a little bit more of that part of Thank you. If you don't mind a longer drive, you should check out the wineries in Mornington. Two of my favourite were Foxy's Hangouts and 10 Minutes by Tractor. If you have a solid 3-5 to five days to spend in Melbourne, you should definitely head on a road trip along the Great Ocean Road. The first must-see pit stop here is Torquay Beach, also known as the Surf Beat. If you are up for a surf, this is a place to go. I had my first surf lesson here and I have to say that surfing ain't easy but it definitely was a memorable experience indeed. A little further down the road is Split Point Lighthouse. This is a great spot to view the ocean and also enjoy a picnic. It also has incredible views for you to watch sunset. The next spot is Irksine Falls. It's only a short 20 minute walk from the car park to reach the bottom of the falls and get ready to get wet. You can make a pit stop at Apollo Bay for the night before you head over to the 12 Apostles. Close by, you can head down the Gibson Steps to enjoy some time at the beach over there. Or you can also head to Lord Ark Gorge. I was a geography student back in the day, learning about gorges and meanders, and seeing one in real life was amazing. Honestly, even if you don't have the time to do a road trip along the Great Ocean Road, I highly recommend at least taking a day trip out to see the 12 Apostles and enjoy your time at the beaches here. If you love nature and hiking, you should definitely go on a hiking trail at the Grampians. The Pinnacle Viewpoint is a popular lookout here at the Grampians. 
There are three different hiking trails up to the pinnacle viewpoint ranging from different difficulty levels. I'll leave a link down in the description box below for more information on the hiking trails. No matter what route you choose, there are always great views along the way. Once you're done with your hike, you can drive down to Mackenzie Falls. This is a great place to bring your beach towel to and just sit and relax, especially during the hot summers. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a blast exploring Melbourne for yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!